Hi everyone, Brian here from Black Ops Toys, uh, coming at you with the tip of the week again. Uh, wanted to show you something that I do pretty much with every figure um, that doesn't already have it done. So you can see these hands from Easy and Simple. They actually have fingers that aren't connected, which is a good thing because that helps you when posing them on weapons. So you can see, and I'm not breaking anything but much easier to bend the fingers, put them around stuff. Uh, these hands right here, this figure's almost done. These hands are uh, Dan Toys hands, and these are a little bit harder, uh, harder mold. They used harder plastic back in the day. Uh, now the new stuff, uh, like the easy and simple stuff, uses more of a PVC material, so it's more squishy. But these are hard plastic, and you can see there's no separation in the fingers. So what I do when I do a figure and I use stuff like this, and I use things like these all the time because I like them. Uh, they have some good looks to them and they have color matching, as you can see. Um, but I have a set of wire cutters here and I have an X-Acto knife. So I'm gonna show you kind of what I do. I'm just gonna go in here. I wanna make sure that I catch the middle. So then I'm just gonna clip. I'm just gonna go to where the finger would normally go. And just so you know, I used to do this with an X-Acto knife. <laughs> These are so much easier, <laughs> so much easier. But if you don't have that, uh, you can use this. And I do use this if I have extra plastic that I wanna shave down on a finger. This one actually looks pretty good. So you can see a little bit of plastic right there. So I would actually just go in and kind of carve that off. But that right there makes this able to grip a lot easier. So let's try the next one. You can see that's hard plastic. Holy moly, can't even bend it hardly. All stuck together. So I'm gonna do one with the knife and you can see how dangerous it is. Uh, I wouldn't recommend doing it this way, but just in case, just going to press, make sure it's sharp. I'm just going to fall it down. The break point. There you go. Wow. A lot easier already. Okay. So I'm going to continue the rest of them with this guy. You can see it takes five minutes to do this. Not even that uh, in the middle. Clip, and I'm gonna keep going. And last but not least. There we go. Now, they should be a lot easier to put on stuff. Oh, these are still quite stiff, but you can see the finger, finger separation. So, a lot of times I tend to put the hands on the weapon and then connect it to the peg. Um, that's just something that I like to do. Uh, depends on the figure. And this guy. Yeah, this type of hand is normally good for a four end grip. So let's just do a little swap real quick. Look how nice that bends. Get it right on there. So now that it's not as stiff, pop that in. Yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please hit that subscribe button below and ring that bell to be notified of new content like the tip of the week.